If you need your colors to be accurate, DxO Photolab 7, the new version of Photolab, might be the answer. Hi, it's Peter here, and let's get right into the business. DxO launched last week a new version of its Photolab software. It's on version 7 now. Before I show you how those colors can be accurate, or how you can make your colors accurate on your photographs, let's look at what are the new things in Photolab 7. DxO has a cool way in its website to check out what are the new things compared to your version. You can choose any version from, I think it's three here, yes, and then you can compare your version and what's new and decide based on that if you need the newest version. And here you can see what's new compared to Photolab 6. Quite a lot of new things. And yes, before we get into that color thing, I need to say the disclaimer. Uh, DxO sent me the beta version of this software, so this review, or not a review, but the, this video is based on beta version of Photolab 7. So it might be slightly different, but most likely it is identical to the version that is already launched. I haven't tested the uh, version that is already launched, I did everything with the beta version I was sent to. And even though they sent me that, the beta version, they didn't tell me what to say in the video, nor did they uh, see this video before, so they have nothing to do with this video. I just wanted to make it because I think this method of getting your colors right is a really new, exciting thing that you can apply to your photography. But of course, I will tell you how to do it and why to apply this, and maybe sometimes you don't need this accuracy. And I do also have affiliate links in the description, so if you want to get it, then it's much appreciated if you use that affiliate link. As you know, you don't pay any extra, but I do get a small commission, and at the same time, when you're getting a great software, you support my free content. But now to the point of this video, which is the color calibration thing. I have this shot of this Tomato, so tomato sauce can. I needed to make one, one of these shots for one of my projects, so why not making a video about the color accuracy? Because usually if you do product shots, you want those colors to be exact the way they are. Of course, people have different monitors, but anyways, you do have the exact spot-on colors on your image. To do this is first you photograph a target, so you need a compatible target to uh, photograph first and use the same exact lights that you are going to use for your products or whatever you're shooting. The lighting I had for this particular shot, there is a, on the right side I had a fairly big softbox so that I can get a nice and straight, uh, what do you call it, a, a kind of like a reflection or, or highlight on the, on the side so that it's all the way from the top to the bottom. That usually is the case what you want to do in, in product shots. Then I had Suroi 330 in the back so that it will give this nice little touch on the other side. So that's it's pretty even lighting. There could have been a slightly more contrast on, on different sides to emphasize the roundness of the of the can. And then I had a Suroi bendable light on top which I bended so that it will give a nice rim to the top of the can so that it will separate it from the black background. And the black background was a fabric that uh, doesn't reflect light at all. It's like 99.9% .9 it will absorb the light, so it won't give any reflection. So it's pitch black, which is something that I needed for this particular shot. After photographing the target, photograph the uh, subject or the product or whatever you're photographing. And here we have the images in Photolab 7. The first thing we need to do is go to color and black and white rendering, choose create a profile, this will pop up and choose your checker from the list. And then you line up the colors so that you will tell the software which color is which. This is really important to get this correct, so it, otherwise it will be totally screwed. Once you've done that, press save and apply. Save the profile on your computer. Now the colors should be perfect on this image. But then we need to apply this same profile to the actual image that you will convert the colors or you make the colors accurate. To apply this, go to the, this place in the menu and then choose uh, DPC profile and then 
find the profile that you saved and use that and voila, your colors are perfect. And as I said, on product shots, usually that is something that we want. But what else is this method good for? I think it's a good way to calibrate your camera also. Just uh, make a shot in the studio environment, for example, and then every time you use those particular uh, lights in, in the studio, for example, use the profile that you have made. That's a generic profile, but of course you can make the profile every time you shoot. And especially these are good for LED lights, like I use mainly LED lights. I don't use the flashlights that much anymore. I, I use LEDs, but the, the problem with LEDs are that they will shift color over time. So some of my color, uh, lights are a bit older and they might have some color shift. So with this method I can clean that color shift and of course this applies to outdoor photography too. If you're photographing flowers in your garden for example, get a photograph of your target and then what you can do is uh, use that color information transferred to the image that you actually made. The same way I did. And about the affiliate links. If you need Photolab 7 or any of the equipment that I mentioned, I have links to all the stuff that I've used for the product shot that I made. You know, using those, I get a small commission and you will support my free content. But as always, you don't pay any extra. And here are some more videos about DxO software, especially Pure Raw 3 is a great software for noise reduction. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.